Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, this is Whoopi speaking and tonight I will try to understand and to attempt the measurement of the pulsed mean power on the input part because it seems there are a lot of discussion on it and I have some problem to understand quite what's happening. So, what I did is these circuits you are now a 12 volt battery which goes through an amp meter, through a TBR, 1 ohm, across which we have put the channel 2 of the scope. Then a resistor here, 100 ohms. After the, uh, the resistor, the second, the channel 1, without ground. Okay, we go back to a MOSFET here, buzz 11, and back to the negative. The MOSFET is pulsed by my circuits here, it is a timer 555 and a LM393 too, so I can put here the frequency and the duty cycle without any change. It is very uh, good circuits here and this is the MOSFET here. Okay, as you can see here, we have an amp, a amp meter, it is this one here. Okay, it is analogic amp meter. We have a second voltmeter here across the resistor and this is this analogic 2. So, we will see here on the scope what we have, given, have got. Okay, I have put 20% uh, um, duty cycle at about f 50 Hz to begin with. Okay. As you can see here, the battery here is at 12.22. I have written here 12.3, but it is sorry going down because the circuit is working now. Okay. So what we can see here on the scope, we have here the VCT peak. It is 12.6 volt, something more than the one indicated here. Okay. And we have the current on the blue trace, it is 134 millivolt. And as I am measuring the TBR of 1 ohm here, okay, it is milliamps. Alright, okay. So, normally, if we want to uh, measure the instant power, we have to multiply this value and this value, okay. And as we have 20% duty cycle, to divide this value by 5. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I have now put here some measurement. So, if we put the VCC on the scope, channel 1, channel 2, 12.6, 137 milliamps, channel two, uh, 1 by 2 divided by 5, give us 0. 0.337 watts. Okay. Now we check what we have on the amp meter and voltmeter here. This voltmeter we have seen here it is 12.22. Okay. So on the amp meter we have here about uh, 35. Yes, 35 milliamps. Okay. On the voltmeter here, we have 2.5 volts, as we are on 10 volt division here. Okay, 10 is here, 2.5 volts. Okay, so if we go on the calculation now, 2.5 volt times 0.035 amps, give us 0. 0 0.0875 watts. There is a difference here, a ratio of 3.85. Hmm. If now we go on the scope and we go on the mean value, every value here, we see we have on channel 1 2.74 volts, which is not so far from this value here. Hmm. And we have 20. 0.4 millivolts, uh, it is 20.4 milliamps on the current. Okay, 
which is somehow different of this value but as you can see here we are not going right to zero at the end here so the mean is uh, probably affected by this but if we make the calculation of this uh, scope uh, in a mean value we see that we have 0 0.0559 watts so it is the difference is, is this is my question mark here you probably that uh, non return to zero of the trace of the blue trace okay i think it is uh, something to think uh, what is the correct value this one this one or something in the middle we see that down here we have a rms value but i it is <laughs> something else another time difficult to do okay just for thinking and uh, good night at all